Hey guys, Gary with Tombstone Tactical. Uh, here with me is Zach. Uh, we're taking a look at the uh, scorpion. Uh, this is a new animal to me. I haven't really, um, besides pictures and videos and stuff like that, I've never really messed with them too much. We're starting to see them a little bit more consistently, so we snagged one to take a look at. Zach here, you had a chance to shoot one now. Um, I did. Let's first, before we go into impressions of what you thought about shooting it, what are, you know, what are some of the histories behind this guy? Because I know their CZ had you know, kind of, this is their newer, like, revamp type thing, but it doesn't look like there's much left over from what the uh, original Scorpion was. That's correct, Gary. In fact, the only thing left on this pistol that even remotely resembles its predecessor is the CZ name mm -hmm. and the Scorpion name. Okay. However, uh, you know, CZ aficionados will note that Scorpion's actually spelled differently this time, with mm -hmm. a C instead of a K. Mm -hmm. So, Interesting. not a lot left over. Uh, this model here draws more a little bit on the Heckler & Koch mm -hmm. MP5. Okay. Uh, we've got some cool features that they kind of pigtailed on to here uh, from the MP5. Mm -hmm. uh, the most noticeable being the, the bolt charging handle. Sure, the slap to the side that yep. way. Um, and what was kind of cool about it, guys, that we noticed, I kind of noticed as I was playing with it, is like you're saying, with that the H and K style, where you can you know slap the top of it and release the bolt. It's kind of like the MP5s and you know all that type of thing. The design they had on the uh, G3s and everything that way. Um, but this guy right here also has the ability to use it kind of like an AR style. Um, so you'll have the bolt catch on the side too, so that if you want, you can you know just use your thumb or your fingers to drop the bolt as well. Um, so I think that's kind of a cool thing. That's a good practicality for LE because a lot of people are used to using the MP5s. And they're used to, you know, when they do the reload slap in the top. But then there's other people that haven't used MP5s and they're used to the AR and they like having something right there. So I thought that was kind of a cool feature. Um, now, what are some specifications of this? I mean, I think it's chambered in 9mm, right? Correct. Um, you know, other than that, I mean, you've got like some furniture and different things on here. They have a lot of Picatinny space on here. That's what I was kind of impressed about. This one being a, uh, being a pistol, it looks like there was a lot to, to kind of do with it. Yeah, you know, absolutely. As you can see, we've uh, thrown on a Magpul AFG just for giggles here. Yeah. Uh, but you do have also two side mounted rails and then the top portion which is covered in a Picatinny rail. It just wouldn't be tactical without that stuff on there, right? <laughs> correct, correct. Um, okay, well I mean, what do you, I mean, when you shot this, you, you were the, probably the only one, one of the only ones here at Tombstone that got the chance to put rounds through this. What was your impression of it? Was it, I mean, how was the recoil? How was the follow-up shots? I mean, pretty, did you like it? I mean, well, you know, I get to shoot this back in February out okay. in Texas. Uh, was really excited to shoot it. It's obviously one of the the hot items to come out this year, uh, you know, for, for U.S. import, and uh, everyone, everyone really wanted to shoot this gun. Mm -hmm. uh, so the excitement factor was really high. I had a lot of high expectations for it. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, it, it met those expectations. Uh, I still fully believe that it is a cool gun. It's mm -hmm. a fun gun. Uh, 9mm obviously being a practical round to take out to the range to do some plinking with. Yeah. Uh, a couple couple things I didn't like too much mm -hmm. about it. Um, you know, the first being it does have an AMB safety, which in general is a nice feature. Yeah. This is one of the designs that they drew heavily from H and K, uh, the MP5 from. Yeah. Uh, very much like the MP5 safety selector. Yeah. Uh, the downside to this is that it is impossible to shoot this firearm without that safety digging. Kind of digging. Into it. I noticed too. I think that's part of the design of it. This was originally designed to be a law enforcement type thing. So. This one is obviously a civilian model. They put it into a pistol form. Um, but if this were to be put into an SVR, I kind of think the angle of the grip, and if you had a stock, it might push your hand a little bit away from it. But it is still one of those things that's kind of iffy. I might have liked to see CZ do something a little bit uh, better with that. But I don't know because I haven't shot one with the, you know, the pistol or the SVR. So who knows? It could change you know, my opinion that way. Absolutely, you know, one of the most awaited features for this is the, you know, conversion kit to turn this into an SBR. Mm -hmm. uh, most people do believe that is on the way. Yeah. In the meantime, uh, they are making and selling adapters for the rear that will allow you to use a SIG brace with it. Mm -hmm. okay. um, you know, kind of going back to that original point of this ambi safety selector being a little bit uncomfortable, uh, you're absolutely correct. I do think that being able to shoulder this with, would change angle. your, yeah, your, your uh, field angle there. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, it would also solve the other big issue that I had with this firearm. Mm -hmm. And that was that all of the recoil is going directly into your hand with this. Um, obviously, you're not able to shoulder it in any way, shape, or form. And so I think once they do turn this into a uh, SBR, SBR adaptable, stuff, yes, it, would, it would definitely change it that Much way. more comfortable. Which is the case with pretty much every firearm out there, unfortunately, that we just can't have them that way and without the proper paperwork. Um, other than that, I mean, that's a pretty good rundown, guys, of what this thing looks like. I mean, Zach is the knowledgeable. Is there anything else you wanted to add to it? I mean... No, just that I know a lot of people are waiting for that, uh, that adapter to turn this into an yeah. SVR. I think um, the popularity of it will go through the roof once once that comes through, because I honestly can't think of another you know 9mm carbine SBR that I'd want more than this thing. It, it's sweet, it's light, it, it seems like it would just shoot 
like butter once you it's got it. Absolutely, you know, uh, what most people are uh, banking on these days is yeah. that CZ is actually waiting for an American manufacturer to produce 30 round magazines for this. Um, giving them one extra part to make it 922 compliant. Cool. Uh, so hopefully we will be seeing 30 round magazines for this and a stock adapter for those who'd like to turn it into an SVR in the near future. Yeah, and the, the world, I mean, it's really the sky's the limit that way once they start doing things like this. It's new to the market, so it might take a little bit, guys, but like we saw with, you know, Tavors and all that stuff, accessories are starting to, you know, sprout out from the ground now for those. So hopefully Absolutely. it'll be the same way with this thing. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Um, check us out if you want to see if we have these guys in stock. Right now, it's kind of hit or miss just because they're new, but um, they'll be on the website, www.tombstonetactical.com. Um, help this gentleman out by following us on Instagram, Twitter, all those different things, YouTube channels, any support you guys have. Um, you know, we appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much.